Humans are hardwired to tell stories. It's how we've passed on beliefs, ideas and information for thousands of years. Even now we tend to think and speak in narrative. Our conversations are really just a stream of short stories. In fact, storytelling is so powerful that our bodies physically react when we recognise the inherent structure of a story. Our pulse quickens, we lean forward, we're fully engaged. This is because our brain doesn't make much of a distinction between reading about and listening to a story and experiencing it in real life. The same parts of the brain light up, which is why you might get teary reading a romance novel or get frightened during a horror movie. Neuroscientists have shown that words like leathery hands not only light up the language areas of the brain, but those that deal with texture and touch. When we come across sentences like Pablo kicked the ball, the area of the brain that coordinates movement lights up. So during a story, our whole brain is activated and engaged. On the other hand, the only parts of the brain that are activated when we use facts, statistics and traditional corporate jargon are the language areas. So we can understand what's being said or written, but we're not engaged on a deeper level. Why is this important? Well, as marketers, we're in the business of persuasion. We need to motivate staff to achieve their goals, convince clients we're the best person for the job, and inspire customers to buy. And storytelling is the ultimate act of persuasion. By placing an idea alongside an emotion, we can weave the facts, statistics, and quotes in such a way that helps people remember us and want to share our ideas. Have you ever been told a great story and then weeks later found yourself retelling it back to that same person, almost as if it happened to you? This is actually quite common and researchers say it's the only way we can plant ideas into other people's minds. Storytelling is kind of like inception for marketers. So how do we tell a great story? Well, first we need a hero. Joseph Campbell, who worked with George Lucas on the original Star Wars films, created the hero's journey, which is the basic structure found in almost every story since the beginning of time. Our hero, who lives in the ordinary world, is suddenly presented with a call to adventure. He refuses the first call, or in chick flick terms, ignores the handsome stranger. And until he sees the mentor or best friend, and slowly moves into the special world where he's presented with challenges and enemies and allies and sometimes a long and drawn out musical montage. <laughs> the hero's journey helps us connect with the hero on an emotional level so we can cheer for them as they overcome their challenges and emerge transformed. The mistake many brands make when they're trying to tell stories is that they paint a rosy picture from beginning to end. So they skip straight from the ordinary world, where the customer is living their life as per usual, to the end of the journey, where the customer is now saving money, caffeinated, organised, fitter, or in some way better than they were before, thanks to your product. Now, people are smart enough to realise that life isn't that easy, and they know that your competitor is probably just as good as you in a number of ways. If you're not open and authentic about the struggles you've overcome, all you're doing is creating distrust amongst the very people you're trying to persuade. All great stories have a balance between good and evil. They understand that in the real world, struggling against challenges is what leads us to greater success. So by sharing these struggles, we're not only engaging them on a deeper level, but persuading them to our way of thinking. Show, don't tell is the first rule of storytelling and it applies to marketing as well. So instead of launching a product and telling everyone how it's going to solve their problems, we need to find a hero, show their struggle, build suspense and then present our product as the solution. Now remember the brand is never the hero. Our stories need to be human. The brand's role is to act as the wise sage uh, that will help our hero complete his journey. This turns our stories into unique human moments that our reader can share and feel like they're experiencing for themselves. So I put a challenge to you. Next time you're creating an annual report or presenting a complex strategy, tell a story instead. 
not only will your audience's whole brain be active and engaged, but your ideas will be remembered long after you've left the room. Thank you. Thank you.